Hey, my name is Jack Smith. This is Kevin Owen. Uh, Kevin, it cost me a hundred dollars to fill up my gas tank the other day. Man, pretty brutal. Hey, we're we're going through a tough time right now. Our economy is not in great shape. You know, there's inflation and uh, things aren't looking good. Uh, this isn't meant to be political. Our, our country has faced these kind of things through its history. Um, it goes in cycles, so uh, it's it's a tough thing that we're in right now. Kevin, how would you help somebody mitigate some of the stress uh, working through this this tough time financially in our country? I think first off, I would come after the anxiety around it. Um, if you're around a, a bunch of people who are stressed out, who are uh, freaking out, or, oh, it's getting worse, it's getting worse, the, uh, Armageddon's coming, and you better learn how to make bread out of, like, grass in your yard. Uh, if you're around a lot of noise that is stressing you out, it's going to cause everything to be heightened, everything to be bigger, and the situation to be far worse than it is. So some of it, I would say... Uh, choose what you're listening to, turn up the positive voices, turn down the positive voices, maybe watch a little less news. Yeah, it's probably a good mm -hmm. idea. It's probably a really good idea. Uh, what, one thing you can do as a practical solution is to, to rework your budget. Sit down with your spouse and your family, have a conversation about where we can save a hundred dollars here, a couple hundred dollars here. Uh, I, I know not everybody can do that. I understand that. Um, but I would say that because we do live in America, that we probably do have a lot of things that we don't necessarily need Ooh. that we just have and that we want. And I'm not saying that's even bad. I'm just, I'm just saying that if we're in this place where we have to make some changes financially, we really got to look at what we're doing. And remember, this isn't some permanent change. These things go in cycles. This, this will end eventually. I don't know when, six weeks, six months, six years, who knows? But it will cycle through. So you can say, hey, we only have to do this until... And if you can put that in, in your mind and, and keep that in your mindset, I think that, that you can probably make some changes in your budget. What are you telling yourself about how the finances are going? This is the worst that it's ever been and it's never going to get better. Or are you telling yourself things that might cause you to be optimistic and encouraged about the fact that you do have good things, you do have hopefully enough, and if not, you're around uh, a lot of resources that are out there. Uh, or, or maybe... This might be an opportunity to do food, yeah, opportunity, easier said than done. This might be an opportunity to uh, maybe start working a little harder. It's okay to push harder sometimes. Yeah, I mean, uh, I know a lot of people that I know have, have picked up second jobs. And I'm not talking about like another full-time job, just hitting up 10, 12, 15 hours a week somewhere. And, and they know that it's temporary. Again, these, this is kind of one of those times where we have to learn to get out of our comfort zone. That's a really hard thing to do. I'm not saying it's easy. But we have to get out of our comfort zone whenever we face situations like this and know that I have to make some changes for the better, for, to help me and to help my family get through it. And if you're not willing to do that, you've got to look at yourself and ask why. I believe people mess up when they're feeling insecure. And a lot of people have insecurity about things like the economy and like their bank accounts and that kind of thing. So what I would also throw in there is make good financial choices. Uh, you might have to wait on some things. Uh, you might have to not get a bunch of credit cards. Um, there are lots of ways to mess this up, yeah. and there's a lot of ways to do it right. Uh, but if you're if you're stressed out, if you're anxious because of a rough economy or a rough personal finance thing, uh, don't throw fuel on fire. Yeah, you don't want to exacerbate your own stress. If you're dealing with some of this stuff and, and you, you feel like you need help, uh, we, we help people with all kinds of issues. This would be one of them. Uh, come see us. We'd love to help you out.